Good morning. So after reviewing your context clues sheet with the words timid, reckless, rebellious, and optimistic, I've decided to give you the opportunity to redo this for more points. Um, in the future, if you get below an 85, which an 85 is a B or a 3, it's considered meeting, you can redo your work to get up to an 85. If you get an 85, there's no reason to redo um, or higher because you've met the standard. You've or And if you want to go above and beyond, you kind of have to do that the first time around. And that would be like an A or a 4. So today, everyone can redo their context clues if they want to. If you've got like a 100, I wouldn't worry about it. Um, but if you want to redo your context clues to get a higher grade, you can just to see the process of redoing work. So with the context clues, I did want you to use the vocabulary word so that you knew the meaning of it because we use them in our discussions in class. But I also wanted you to practice using context clues because when you read, I want you to look for context clues when you come across a word you don't know. And those are hints that help the reader figure out what a word means. So we have the word timid here. And my definition I gave you was scared, nervous, and hesitant. I would suggest for those of you that didn't have context clues like for timid, use one of these words that are right in the defin definition. So Tim was timid and hesitant. I'll make this a little bigger. When the dog ran at him with his sharp teeth. Okay, so you'll notice the vocab word is in here timid. Some of you forgot to put the vocab word in the sentence. And then you'll notice I have my context clue here, hesitant, which I got right from the definition. That's totally fine. I don't want you, however, to just stop there, like Tim was timid and hesitant. I need a little bit more. So that's when you would use your examples. When the dog ran at him, I would say dog ran, maybe even at him, and the sharp teeth is really the context clue that helps there. So what I'd like you to do is you only need to redo the sentences that you um, got points off of. And I put that in the comments on your assignment. Um, so sometimes you just need to add the vocab word. Other times you might need to add a part of the definition in there, which is your context clue. Or maybe you just need a little bit more context clues to go. What you want to pretend is that I do not know, as your teacher, I don't know what the word means. And I also don't know what you're reading. So you, even if you're using Luke as an example, pretend I don't know the story. And I think that will help you put a little more detail into your sentences. So feel free to redo this. You're going to submit it under context clues sheet number two if you want to redo it. Um, and that's kind of what we're going to do today. After you're done with this, it's time to silent read or at, you can add jots to your reading journal. Remember, don't jot more than five minutes. But if we learned yesterday that characters reveal themselves over time. So if you come across another trait with evidence, add it right into your reading journal. And if it's less likable, put one of those frowny faces in there. You guys are doing a great job. Um, sometimes when assignments don't go that great, We'll redo them as a class like we did today. And if you get below an 85, a B minus, which would be like a three, um, you can always redo an assignment. You can conference with me on Wednesdays, my conference time, or at school. Um, you can email me a question. Um, and if I respond back that I'm going to redo this with the whole class or do a small group, I won't answer your question. I'll just wait until we redo this as a class. So again, fix the ones, maybe you didn't get points off for reckless, so you don't need to redo that one. Fix the vocabulary words, the sentences that you used incorrectly, or that you didn't put the vocab word in, or no context clues, and resubmit it to me. Have a great 
Friday.